It's a sketch comedy podcast show. Justin, I just have to say thank you so much for applying for the for the job here of video store clerk. Uh, I want you to understand that Excelsior Video is absolutely looking for the best video clerks in the city. We are an up and coming video store. We're hoping to put Blockbuster and Hollywood Video out of business. Uh, I thank you very much. I really appreciate the opportunity. So I have a couple questions for you as far as uh, movies go. Uh, what, what, uh, what are your favorite types of movies? Like, do you have a favorite genre or? No, I, 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 think that mo- I think that movies are really kind of a dying art form. I think that with the advent of streaming services and serialized episodic television, I really think that people are really going to stop watching movies and I don't really see a future for this kind of place, to be honest. Oh, um, okay. Well, what type of TV shows do you like to watch? Uh, I'm not really into TV. I think that TV kind of panders to the lowest common denominator. And I think that a lot of it is, you know, just garbage, corporate garbage, just to sell things and make money. And I really want nothing to do with it. Oh, um, well, I, I really like Dancing with the Stars. We also have a gaming section. Is there a, uh, you know, a game that you really, really like or uh, some sort of thing like that? Yes, I, I love Pinochle and Euchre. Uh, I love Bingo, uh, Baccarat. Uh, I, 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 I'm really enthusiastic about gaming, actually. So. Baccarat, is that, a, uh, is that an Xbox game or is that PlayStation or Wii? Uh, it's a card. It's a card game. It's, it's cards. Yeah, my, I think my grandfather played things like that. Hmm. I, well, I tell you what, we do have one other thing I, I need to talk to you about. We have a, a, a mental test. It's like a puzzle in a way. One of the job duties you're going to have here is uh, making sure that the movies are in order. So we've got three sections that we would like you to sort. Do you know what I mean by sort? I, I think I understand the meaning of the word sort. We're going to give you 90 minutes to sort them. And we're just looking for how you can process the information and be able to read the titles and sort them properly. Here's section one, here's section two, here's section three. And uh, we'll start the timer right now. Thanks, I'll, I'll, I'll be over here if you need me. <laughs> Um, I, I know that I had 90 minutes, but um, and it's only been 34 minutes, but I, I just want to let you know I finished. <laughs> oh my God, no one has ever finished that quickly. Well, uh, well I'm, I mean, I don't like to brag, but the, the alphabet is, is kind of my specialty. In school, you did letters? What, what is it, reading? Did you... Did you major in reading in college? Yeah, yeah, I did a little bit of reading in college. I managed to squeeze it in in between philosophy and particle physics. I like romance novels. All right, so let's see. Oh, well, that's interesting. Uh, this movie here, All Dogs Go to Heaven, doesn't seem to be in the right spot. No, I decided to put it with the eyes. In, in, es- in Esperanto, which is my native language, uh, the title All Dogs Go to Heaven is Chiwi Hundo Irasala Chiello. And, and I decided to take some initiative and, and put it uh, in the eyes. So it's, it, I've actually retitled it Iras Ala Chiello, comma Chiwi Hundo. Oh, as, where were you born? Ohio. They speak this in Ohio. Uh, some some people speak it in Ohio. i not a lot. I mean, it's a it's a minority language. We're we're fighting for our rights, but uh, Excelsior Video could really be on the vanguard of of promoting language equality by adopting this system that I put together. Well, I'm 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 gonna have to ask you if we do hire you. You do, do you mind just putting them in normal alphabetical order? No, I don't think I don't think I can do that. Okay. Well, well, let's take a look at your second section. All right, so um, these are our uh, bestsellers. Um, hmm, this is uh, interesting. You've got Casablanca as one of our bestsellers, and we're in the year 2007. Of, of course. I think uh, th- this is something I'm really proud of, and I think you're really going to come to see the genius of it. Imagine your favorite movie, and what if your favorite movie wasn't the favorite of the community? Wouldn't you want your second favorite movie to be up here on the bestsellers list? Or maybe your third favorite or your fourth favorite? I 
guess. Don't you think it would be better if everybody had a movie on the bestsellers list that really represented their taste in film? But Casablanca is like old and in black and white. Exactly. And that's exactly why it belongs on the bestsellers board. Because it, it's, it's got wide enough appeal to just enough people that it picked up those second preferences and just shot up the list to the bestsellers. I think I have a headache. All right, well, we actually get a bestseller list that I actually handed to you beforehand. If we hire you, do you mind just following the list that we give you? You know, I, I mentioned this earlier in the interview. I'm really not a list follower. Okay, all right. Well, I noticed over here that this section is very oddly arranged. I can't figure out exactly what it is. You've got up here at the top of the list, you have Fried Green Tomatoes, followed by Misery. I see that you've got uh, a Titanic there, but these are not in any alphabetical order. And I noticed that down way at the bottom is Moneyball. So I think you're going to be really pleased with this, and this is going to show my expertise. These are good movies. Down here, we've got bad movies. And over here are movies I haven't seen yet. Why are they all in the same section and not in any sort of alphabetical order? Well, I, I think that when, when someone comes in and they're, they're saying, what, what's a good movie? What's something really hot that's come out just recently? And I'm going to say, what kind of Kathy Bates are you into? Excuse me? Uh, Kathy Bates, she's like the multi-purpose tool of acting. Well, why is Moneyball over here? That was Kathy Bates, in my opinion, her tour de force. Kathy Bates wasn't in Moneyball. What we're really looking for is someone who would just, if it's a Kathy Bates section, just make sure that all the movies have Kathy Bates in them. I mean, I'm not going to let you tell me that Kathy Bates wasn't in Moneyball. The bad news is you are quite possibly the least employable person we've ever interviewed. The good news is you're hired. 